crushed, roasted, frozen, choked. Let's see how you will die on each planet, starting with the first planet in our solar system, Mercury. This is the closest planet to the sun, where you will see the giant fireball, which is three times larger and up to seven times brighter than that seen from the Earth. The extreme heat of the sun blows this planet's surface temperature around 800 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, all the water in your body will evaporate instantly, and the remaining burned part of the body will burn and decompose in time. If you think you will escape your fate on the shadowed part of the planet, that's not going to happen. In those parts, the temperature falls to minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, frizzing you from tip to toe before you could die with the frostbite. I forgot to mention that there isn't any oxygen in the atmosphere. Actually, you can call it the exosphere, because dying on the mercury is quite similar to dying in space because of the presence of a negligible atmosphere. Venus Standing on Venus will be like standing in hell for you because of its surroundings and dense atmosphere. The sky occupied with ash and yellowish sulfuric acid rain clouds, which will pour the acid on you, continuously burning that part of your body. You will be surrounded by volcanic mountains, lava rivers, and vast plains with only magma bubbling to the surface. In this extreme temperature of 880 degrees Fahrenheit, you will feel like you are trapped inside a giant furnace. These visuals, I believe, will be enough for some souls to leave their bodies. Anyway, in this extreme temperature, your body will decompose rapidly and it will turn into a degraded zombie where the deteriorated flesh will be sagging upon the body. Then it will be dissolved into the lava flow. If you respawn again at the same place by using an extra life and you have the power to withstand the immense heat, you will be crushed immediately by the atmospheric pressure of Venus, which is about 92 times the Earth's atmospheric pressure at sea level. There are some interesting facts here. Venus doesn't only have a nearly similar gravitational force like Earth, but also has almost the same mass and size. According to some scientists, Venus was more like the Earth 3 billion years ago, but it was ruined by the greenhouse effect. Earth. Hold on. Let's get to the next planet because this will take more time than our video length. Mars. As you may know, Mars is the most beloved planet by humans, or at least by Elon Musk, because it has more potential to support human settlement in the future than the other planets in the solar system. Even though that's true, you will not survive this cold and dry planet without any external support. You will not be able to breathe here because Mars doesn't have oxygen in its atmosphere. It has almost 95% carbon dioxide. When you start inhaling more CO2, you will start to feel breathlessness. And after that, you will become unconscious before becoming a dead body. After that, you will be buried under a dust storm just to get excavated by the future human settlements that will discuss your degraded body. This will be the only good thing that will happen to you on Mars. But of course, you wouldn't be there to witness that scene. The temperature varies on the surface of Mars during the day and night as well as during the summer. Sometimes it can get pleasant, like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but it can get lower up to minus 200 degrees. You will experience how the frozen tuna endures the low temperature. Jupiter. You don't stand a chance because you cannot stand, fly, or even enter this gas giant. You will be crushed in the top layer of the atmosphere, which has pressure around a thousand times that of the Earth. It will take less than a second. If you teleported to the center to find land, you will die instantly when you open the portal because of the heat from the core, which is around 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Saturn. Uranus and Neptune. Pluto. We don't consider him a planet, but let me mention him. Pluto isn't a gas giant like the previous four planets. It has a solid surface, but it is only made up of rock-solid ice where the temperature is around minus 370 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than enough to transform you into hard rock ice. At last, I just want to give an advice to you that think before you go to these planets. That's it for today's Death Seeking Expedition. Goodbye.